What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Walking Dead, the ones who live video. Today we have our preview pictures for the final episode. And I can't believe that we're already here. The show that we waited several years for to get here and we're already at the last episode. Of whether or not it's the last episode ever, we still don't know. I think I think we're going to get an announcement at the finale that they are going to come back for a second season because it's the only way that any of this is feasible to complete the story, to complete the story of these characters and just the ever-expanding universe that is The Walking Dead, including here with the CRM lately. Just There's so much more depth to it. They've added a lot more depth to it within this story, within this series, and I don't think that they complete it the way it needs to be done with just this one last episode. That's just not doable, and... If they try to, it's going to make everything just so stupid and just completely not worth it. But I have faith that they won't go that way, that they'll give us more more of the story. And not only that, because we have our other spinoffs that anything goes, I think, where we could see some of this spill into those other spinoffs. But anyways, uh, let's jump into these pictures for the finale. And here's another little tidbit, too. Uh, they've been promoting it as the finale they have not said series they have not said season so i think that's just another little clue that they're giving us that this is going to go into a second season but that's just my theory that could be completely off and it's just you know the way they've chosen to promote it the way they've chosen to word the promotion and all that anyways let's jump into these pictures for the last time now this first one we just have rick walking up to the gate and uh <clears throat> he's got his hands up because obviously you want to walk up here where you don't want to give them the idea that you can whip out a pistol or whatever and just start blowing everybody away. And he's going to make his way in while Michonne hangs back and uh, makes her way into the CRM to track down that file. But anyways, moving on to the next one. We got Rick here. He's a little bit cleaned up. He's got his wound kind of cleaned up, and he's back in his uh, red uniform. And uh, not sure who he's talking to. More than likely Thorn in this picture because I think it connects with another picture coming up. But uh, moving on to the next one. This is a scene, but this also looks like a different scene where he's still in just a plain black commando uniform. And uh, he's talking to Thorne about probably how he was the lone survivor and just trying to get her to believe his story because obviously he can't go on detail of what happened the days or weeks that he was away. So I'm sure in some sense that Thorne is probably glad to see him, but she's probably still on edge around him and uh, not really 100% believing everything he's saying. But I think she wants to. The next one, we just have another shot of Rick. I believe this is in the Echelon briefing. He's a little bit more cleaned up again. Got a different outfit on. And then here he is with just kind of a pea coat on. I'm pretty sure this is in the Echelon briefing. Because in this next one, we have another shot of Rick. Where he's just got this look on his face. Like he doesn't understand what he's saying. Or he doesn't quite believe what he's saying. Because in the next one, we have Beale. We have not seen much of Beale. Obviously. I mean, he's only been in a handful of scenes. We've not really seen anything about his character, what kind of person he is. But I really believe in this finale, we're going to get the full detail of who he is. He might be planning something just fucking heinous. And he is just this person that's he is kind of off-putting, but he doesn't set off any alarm bells in your head. But he's going to do or say something, probably in this echelon briefing, that's really just hits Rick the wrong way and it's like right there that's the his this one sentence that he's probably going to say or this briefing or parts of this briefing where you're really going to see that he is a bad person where he had something to do with the outbreak that's a big theory out there that he is either solely responsible or he was just a part of a team that was involved in how the outbreak happened and how it made its way to the states and just he was he has something to do with it. That's just what a lot of people believe right now. I'm not 100% sold on that idea. He's probably just some random military guy, but he also could have been pretty high up the chain where he had something to do with some part of it. And then we here we got Michonne. She is in the CRM. She has made her way in. She's undercover. She's wearing the red stripe uniform trying to blend in with this large crowd of other red stripe soldiers. And as far as they're concerned, I'm pretty sure they are the frontliners. They are the special ops types. That's just kind of my opinion about it, but that's just the vibe that I kind of get from these guys, that they are the ones that go in when everything else fails, where they are the special ops guys. They are the special recon, whatever you want to call it. But these guys are the ones not to be messed with. But Michonne's just trying to blend in here and uh, just probably gather information along the way, where she needs to go, where uh, Jadis' room was and all that. 
But she's probably got some nervousness going on too where who knows, someone just might randomly start talking to her and she's got to answer questions that she might not know the answers to. But uh, going on to the next one here, we have Michonne. Looks like she's in a more secure place and she's packing a new sword. Is this the sword that Beale had? I'm not sure, but we're not real sure where her katana blade is. Is it somewhere still back in the Philly area? Is it, uh, did she maybe leave it down in a tunnel or something to... Or maybe down there by that boat that Rick tried to send her out on. No real clue really where her katana wound up. But I feel like maybe it might find its way back to her as it does sometimes. But in this picture she's packing a new weapon. And she's in an area where she can remove her helmets and not be so sneaky. Then this next one we have Rick. He's on a radio. Probably his way of staying in contact with Michonne ends this is probably going out on a limb, but this would be kind of a cool moment for Morgan's message to come over the radio. I doubt it happens. I don't know if we're going to see any more cameos. I might do a separate video about that. But it would be kind of an awesome moment where maybe he's mid-contact with Michonne, and then we just hear bits and pieces of Morgan's message try to come through. Maybe we hear Rick's name, or maybe we hear Morgan's name, or just some... Or just some part of that message come through while he's trying to get in contact with Michonne. But then again, these are probably CRM radios that have a secure channel and all that secure frequency. So they might not pick up just random things out and about in the world. But this is just probably him staying in touch with Michonne while she's trying to make her way in. And uh, get to Jadis' room and get the file and do what they need to do so they can continue trying to get out of this. Then this is another shot of Rick, what I believe is in the Echelon briefing. And, you know, it's hard to tell what we're going to hear in this. I think that uh, it's probably going to be something major because we did get the clue from Scott Gimple that this finale and the way they do things, it's going to completely change our view on The Walking Dead. From what I heard from different uh, articles and whatnot, there's not going to be a dry eye in the house. Now, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It could be an emotional thing where it's a happy, not dry eye in the house, or it could be something devastating where we're just completely at a loss. Someone gets killed or someone's left in the mystery of possibly being killed. Like, we don't know what actually happens to them, but I'm really hoping it's a good thing that there won't be a dry eye in the house. That we'll see something amazing happen, but it's hard to tell with this. And that is the last picture. We don't have really a whole lot to go on. Um, not real sure how things are going to play out, but I just I have to believe that we're going to get a second season of this. I just don't think they can give us the story that they know we want to see with just one episode left. It wouldn't make any sense, and we want to see everybody go home. We want to see everybody be okay, but I know this is the Walking Dead world, and that's just not usually something that happens, but... The hope is there that we could see this and we could see that hopefully a theory that I had in one of my previous videos, and I think it was going over the trailer for this one, that there is something that's going to happen that's going to spark the next part of the Walking Dead universe, that this is going to spark a war or a battle or some sort of conflict between CRM and other communities because I just I think that would be the way to go about it to really bring everyone back, bring everyone to the front lines of some major battle, maybe a battle to end all battles to get CRM either wiped out or get the way they do things changed. And it just, it would be pretty awesome to see all that come to fruition. Whether it happens, I don't know, but it's just something I think a lot of people want to see as a way to bring everybody home, to bring everybody back so we have the reunions that we want and things get closed out in a way that we find satisfying. But uh, that's just my opinion. I think we're probably in for a long haul. If we do get another season of this, we still have our other spinoffs that I believe at least have three seasons planned for those. And whether or not we're going to get that crossover series that was also talked about by Gimple, not sure yet. But I think, I think this is what's building up to that. And again, I think that's really the only way to close this out to make everybody happy. But anyways, I'm very excited for the episode. I'm very nervous for the episode and for our characters, but I think that will do it. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Help me make that push to 1,000 subscribers, and I would really appreciate it. So until next time, guys, take care. Bye.